welcome to Verdictum. I am Ananya Singh and you're watching today's Legal News, where we take you through the latest legal developments across the country. Starting with the headlines. Supreme Court refuses to entertain Heyman Sorain's plea against arrest by ED. Delhi High Court directs central government to frame guidelines for minors' organ donation. Allahabad High Court dismisses plea, alleging fake educational certificates by UP Deputy CM Keshav Prasad Maurya. Gujarat and Guwahati High Courts prohibit mentioning caste and religion in legal filings. Now the headlines in detail. In a significant development, the Supreme Court today declined to intervene in the plea filed by former Jharkhand Chief Minister and leader of Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, Heman Soren who is challenging his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate in a money laundering case. A special bench comprising Justice Sanjeev Khanna, Justice M. M. Sundresh and Justice Bela M. Trivedi was constituted to hear the plea mentioned for urgent hearing. The bench advised Soren's counsel, senior advocates Kapil Sibyl and Abhishek Manu Singhvi to seek relief from the High Court and allowed the amendment of his writ petition before the High Court. Sorain was apprehended on January 31st in a case linked to the illegal possession of significant land parcels and his alleged association with the land mafia. In his plea, he urged the Apex Court to declare his arrest unjustified, arbitrary and a violation of fundamental rights, terming the arrest part of a well-orchestrated conspiracy. The plea on the same grounds is pending before the Jharkhand High Court. Yesterday, a Special Prevention of Money Laundering Act court remanded Sorain to one-day judicial custody in connection with the ongoing investigation. The Delhi High Court has directed the central government to establish comprehensive guidelines for authorities considering requests for organ donation and life tissues from minors to their family members. The ruling comes in response to a petition filed by a minor daughter seeking permission to donate a portion of her liver to her critically ill father. Justice Subramanian Prasad issued the directive mandating the Union Health Ministry to formulate these guidelines under the existing Transplantation of Human Organs and Tissue Rules of 2014. Exercising discretion under Article 226 of the Constitution of India, Justice Prasad directed the petitioner to undergo the procedure for donation at a specialized centre such as AIMS, ensuring a thorough assessment of the well-being of the petitioner. Emphasizing the critical nature of the father's medical condition, the court clarified that this decision was made due to the end-stage liver disease suffered by the petitioner's father. Notably, the 17-year-old petitioner received approval from the medical board at Ames, attesting to her physical capability to donate a part of her liver without any complications for her. In a recent development, the Allahabad High Court has dismissed a criminal revision plea challenging a lower court's 2021 order which had rejected an application seeking the registration of a criminal case against the Deputy Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Keshav Prasad Maurya. The application alleged Maurya to have submitted fake educational certificates in his election affidavit. The matter came before the High Court in challenge to an order of the additional Chief Judicial Magistrate, dated September 4, 2021. The original application filed before the ACJM Prayagraj under Section 156, Subsection 3 of the Code of Criminal Procedure sought the direction from court to register a criminal case against Deputy CM for alleged fraud played by him by use of fake educational certificates in his election petition. However, there was a delay of 327 days and the application for condonation of delay was filed. A bench of Justice Samit Gopal presided over the case and rejected the application for condonation of delay in filing the revision. The court observed that there was absence of cogent reasons and substantiated material to justify the delay. The court also characterized the revisionist Divakar Nath Tripathi as casual, non-serious and non-vigilant in pursuing the revision. In response to a recent directive issued by the Supreme Court, the High Courts of Gujarat and Guwahati have issued notifications to refrain from mentioning of caste and religion in petitions and suits filed before them. The Supreme Court order dated January 10th urged all courts across India to discontinue the practice of including details as to caste and religion of litigants in legal documents. Subsequently, Chief Justice Sunita Agarwal of the Gujarat High Court issued a notification mandating that the caste or religion of the litigant not to be mentioned in the memo of parties in any petition, suit or proceedings presented before the High Court. Advocates, government leaders, public prosecutors and parties have been directed to comply with the notification.
Additionally, the High Court's registry is also instructed to not raise objections regarding omissions made with regard such information, and the same should not be entered into the computer software. The application of the directive shall be universal, irrespective of whether such details have been previously furnished in filing of lower courts. Similarly, the Guwahati High Court issued a comparable notification extending the directive not only to the High Court itself but to all courts subordinate to it. In addition to the directives, modifications were announced for the existing filing forms of the Guwahati High Court's principal seat and outlying benches. The presiding officers of other courts and tribunals under the jurisdiction of the Guwahati High Court have been directed to make necessary modifications in their filing forms accordingly. That was all on today's legal news. Thank you and keep watching Verdictum and subscribe to our channel and download the Verdictum app on iOS and Android to keep yourself updated with authentic legal news.